What's going on everybody? I'm Griffin Andrews and you're watching season two of the Weber documentary. So this is season two of the Weber documentary. Last year we only had one episode. This year we're going to try and make an episode for every game. We have a game every Saturday, so I try to film it every Saturday. Uh, you may remember from last year that I'm all about the sock game. So these are the socks that I selected for opening day. I put them on already off camera. Shout out to Mel Crescenti for giving me these socks. I think they're from Boston, I'm not really sure, but he showed up in my house and he gave me these one day and I decided to wear them for opening day. Uh, we had a tough matchup today. A uh, whole new team from last year, except for three kids maybe. Um, but I think we're looking good. We got the same colored jersey. Still rocking the uh, leggings. They're a new pair of leggings, you'll see when they're on me. Uh, shorts with yellow on them, sleeve, uh, headband, you know, the whole thing. And you may notice my hair looks really weird right now, but it's going to look weirder in like 15 minutes once you see what we're doing. So, uh, we're going to head out and do that thing. So, right now, if you remember last year I did my hair on camera, this year I'm going to have someone else do my hair on camera. Uh, I got my girlfriend Missy who's currently filming, and we're going to give myself cornrows somehow. I don't know how it's gonna work. My hair is a little bit longer from last year, but I don't think it's long enough to get full on cornrows, but we're gonna try it out and see what happens. This is the battle station. Set up my chair right here, and I'm good to go. or whatever. I think they're looking pretty good. So now that I got this in, I'm gonna go down and eat a pre-game meal. You know, last time, last year I had chicken bread or whatever. This time I got pasta and a bagel. It is carbs, you know, carb up. You able to eat. You able to eat. Able to eat. So I'm about to make myself some pasta that I didn't make. Uh, so I'm going to give you a tutorial quick on how to make pre pasta. You take the pasta from the Tupperware. <laughs> you try to dump it in. Pick up the stranded pieces. You want cinnamon sugar? Got my brother Zach in the background. He's cooking up a bagel. Cinnamon sugar? Cinnamon sugar, you know how we do. I had to throw all that out because I dropped it on the table. You can't eat things that you drop on the table. It's just a rule of life. So now I'm going to put this in the microwave. How long do you think we should cook this for? <laughs> this guy. 45 a minute. Minute? Mm -hmm. Minute sound good? We're going to put this in for about a minute. It's going to be hot. Sound. This is burning my uh, hands off right now, but I don't care. <laughs> I make everyone laugh. Don't ignore these laughs in the background. My camera girl is laughing at fucking everything that I say, no matter what it is. So this is what I eat pregame. Take a look. Uh, carbs, carbs with sugar on it. It's real tasty. Now I'm gonna get the key ingredient of this mix. A little bit of, can't believe it's not butter, spray butter. No brand deal though, don't give me money. Shake it off a little bit of the clock. And now I'm out of eat. After I eat, probably go outside. Beautiful day out for uh, Montana in December. It's like 60, what, 63 degrees? So after I eat this, I'll probably go out and shoot around a little bit, loosen up the legs, hurt my back again, so I'll loosen up the back. Uh, but for now I'll eat. Currently enjoying a nice meal. Uh, spray butter, you know, and everything. You know, the mindset for this season is it's my last Weber season ever. My last time ever playing organized basketball. These next 11 to 13 games. Depending if we go far in the playoffs or not. So I'm trying to have beef with everybody. Like every single person. I'm trying to get everyone mad at me. Uh, I'm trying to 
Turner score at least 35 in one game. I think I could do it. Last year, during the only documentary episode we had, I had uh, 18 points, and we beat the team by like 30. Now I'm trying to have 35 and beat a team by 60. So that's why the theme of this, the theme of this docu series is the last ride. Getting a call probably from an agent looking to secure a deal for Nike or something. Last year, when we filmed the one episode of the documentary, it was 16 degrees out and snowing when I tried to shoot around outside. But now it's, what, 60 something degrees outside, and it's the same time of year, like a month earlier, because it's December uh, here in Idaho. So we're gonna go shoot around a little bit. Here's how I like to get loose. Shut one up from deep. I uh, missed that one, but we're gonna keep shooting. My boy Zach down here. I'm sad as that. Um, he's helping rebound a little bit. Kind of the main purpose of the shoot around is to see if my back feels okay. Because earlier when I was doing my first of three shoot arounds, this is my third. Um, I went up for a dunk and I grabbed the rim weird. And I hurt my back. So just rehab that. Ah. play against him. Right? Really? So this is my shot over on this wing. Uh, missed the first one, but I'll get that back. Right here, I could step back for three if you need me. Oh, never mind. Never mind, no you can't. Are you playing the Warriors? Cut that out. Is it Cal Steve? No. Struggling out of my game is getting the ball top of the key. Can't go there because it's a car. But get the ball top of the key, driving low, going up to like a floater type thing. Uh, I've been going a little bit too fast for myself, and I've been shooting long on a lot of these shorter shots. And I always seem to get open right about here. So I've been working on this shot with every shooting session of the day. Do it. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too short. I gotta back up. I'm too short. I can't do it. I mean, this is why you work, though. Not everything is gonna come to you overnight. Put up as many shots as you can. They're gonna start falling. See, right now, I'm obviously not doing very good. But the more shots I take, the more chances I have to make. And that's that's what I live by. Uh, Griff Graf. This is Griff Graf warming up right now. Look at that shot. Just about two hours before tip, so I'm about to walk into my locker room, aka my bedroom, uh, get dressed. So this is what we're looking at here for the uniform. Uh, I'm not going to show you me putting it on because it can't be nude on camera, it's porn. So we got shooting sleeve, jersey, pants with yellow on them, fucking headband, uh, and leggings. These are my signature leggings for the year. Picked them up at Champs. Shout out Champs. No sponsorship though. Um, yeah, so I'll get right back to you after I'm dressed.
I'm dressed now. Last year I wore number 10, this year I'm uh, changing it up, rocking number 9, because in ninth grade, it was the first year of high school ever, but I didn't play because I played for my high school in uh, Illinois. And now it's 12th grade, so 12 minus 4 is 8, plus this year, the last ride is 9. 9. So we're going to walk downstairs now and have to pick up my shoes. I got shoe options right here. I mean, I could wear I could wear the blue stuff and really throw off the whole yellow and black and fucking socks. I could wear these tens. I don't like it because they're red at the bottom. Those are red too, and I don't want to wear brooches. So it's between the LeBrons and the shoes I wore last year, the uh, Under Armour shoes. I think I'm gonna go with the Under Armour shoes because it's all about comfort when you're balling. So we're back in the kitchen now. Um, you might have noticed that I quoted Zach last year when he said it's all about comfort when you're balling. There's Zach. Anthony just walked in. Ah, there he is. <laughs> That's my guy over there. Um, so we're gonna do a what's in my bag tutorial. Not a tutorial, just a video. I don't know the word for it. Damn it. So these are shoes I'm gonna be wearing today. Here's the other one. Uh, also in my bag I got my ball. It's the ball I use indoors. Indoor only. And I got this shooting sleeve. Not wearing it today. I'm going with a comfy one instead of the stylish one. Uh, I got this baseball, because baseball is life, and you always got to carry baseball around with you no matter where you go, you know. I got the sleeve from my jersey last year, you can see the color difference, because I only cut off one of my sleeves last year. I use this as a uh, towel now for blood, there's drops of blood all over it, so I just laughed, because I bleed during the weather a lot. I got this glove, I'm going to repack my bag, my man Zach over there is going to grab me two waters. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. You can see these? So I'm gonna put these waters in the bag. If you don't put them in the bag, you're gonna forget them. And you may be wondering why I'm packing my bag now. It's because I'm leaving at 5, which is in 23 minutes. As you can see here in Sacramento, it gets dark quick outside. It's only 4.37 right now. It's pretty much pitch black. But we're ready to ball. Give us an update. Update, um, we're about to go. <laughs> and we're about to put on a show. We're about to go see Mark play his first Weber game in years. Starts in seven minutes, so we're going to leave in about seven minutes. We just pulled up to the, uh, to the gym, and it's game time, you know? We just found out that their best player is not going to be there today. I mean, we can't take any games lightly, but I think that we got this one in the bag already. Uh, I was hoping it'd be an intriguing matchup because he's probably the best defensive player in the league, but he's not going to be there. So, what are you going to do? I mean, that's that's how Weber happens. So this is where I come to hoop. This is where the league is. Always party here out here. Wallingford Park and Rec, located here in uh, Wallingford, Nebraska. Here we go, it's game time. K-Pop Central. JT here. JT. 
JT won the game too. I had 16. Not that good of a game. I'm here with my entourage. We got Mel, we call them sliders. We got JT, we call them LO9. We got Felicia, we call them minions. There's another... <laughs> so there's another game going on over here. Uh, we like to sit around and just walk. I'm getting called over there. I'll talk to you later. Basket. Ball. We play in basketball. Not making it. No. <laughs> I'm going to give a synopsis of the game. I'm going to give a synopsis of the game. A synopsis? Synopsis of the game. Nope, nope. Oh, we ended up winning that one. Uh, nail biter. I don't know, we won by like six. Uh, tough game. We got a tough road ahead of us in the season, but right now, got a little bit of food to help re energize, you know. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Pizza. And that famous stuffed bread that we had last time. And along with the stuffed bread, after every long game, you got Advil. Take your Advil. Prevent injury. Just don't overdose on it. So, I mean, I guess that's it for this episode. So, uh, we'll see you next week.